Oh my God, it's here. It's the Airstream Base Camp 20X. Come on. Yep, that's right. We are here at Traveland RV Supercenter on the Langley Bypass and they have the Airsteam Base Camp 20X and we get to show it to you. Now, we got a rush. The owner's already been here. <laughs> he ordered it back in October. It is now July and he's super excited because it's here. But he said, yeah, go ahead, review it. So we're going to show it to you. So as per usual, this is just mine and Corey's opinion based on the research that we do. And one of our research tools is in the link in the description and you can use it too. Currency converter, timestamps, and if you're finding any value from our videos and you'd like to buy us coffee, link in the description there. We super wanna thank Steve and Amy once again. Thank you so much for the coffee guys, appreciate it. So we are going to take you on a tour of this lovely new base camp on the outside, then we'll go on the inside. And at the end, we will uh, put some links in to the construction of the base camp. So hopefully you'll get all the information you're looking for. So without further ado, let's have a good look at this rig. Just gonna put my coffee down. The main difference is now that they've gone from the 16 to the 20, you can still get the 16. But if you want the 20, what you're getting is taller, a little bit wider, and obviously longer. So that changes the floor plan up a little bit, allows them to do a few little different things. Up here at the front, you're getting two 20 pound propane tanks. And in this little setup, which just unhooks with these things, is a shelf here. And underneath is where the propane tanks are. You also, get a manual jack coming around this is the 20x now remember the x has a few different features than than just the 20. so it has these uh covers here to protect your aluminum and it's also got the covers over the windows to protect them and they help with the sun right now there's a cover for the cover isn't there a cover yeah <laughs> Oh yeah, sorry. Remember, she's brand spanking new because we were here just the other day and she wasn't here. This is just a coating, this white stuff. That'll all come off and it's that beautiful aluminum finish. Okay, coming around, um, there is a solar port here so that you could put some extra panels on, but it does come with two 90 watt panels and two AGM batteries. So think about that when you're putting together your choices. You've got a uh, place for your sewer hose down here. There is four manual stabilizer jacks on this unit. Here is your 30, oops. That was just the cover. That I was just there. the cover. <laughs> 30 amp plug and in Airstream fashion, <laughs> you get this little fold down storage thing, which um, yeah, this goes back about that far on either side. They got the special ones right up at the front. <laughs> so we get to listen to all of their uh, uh, PA system. Okay, here is your uh, sewer drain. And on the 20, you get separate black and gray tanks. So here are the valves for those. Now, we also, it does have a fully enclosed underbelly, which is great. There is ducted heating two tanks and the tanks also have heat pads so that helps out significantly but you must remember that these valves are not in that ducted heated space or affected by those pads okay because we are in the 20x you get an extra i think about three inches of clearance here this is a super nice uh, protected area for the tire the wheel well so that in case you know you're off-road kind of thing uh it's not going to rip apart your trailer super aggressive tires these are the goodyear uh, wrangler lt 235 85 r16 on the aluminum rims this here little thing i learned there's just little uh plastic pipe here this is actually where the condensation from the ac gets drained so that's different. The shape is always cool. The frameless windows are very tinted. Um, 
which is nice but it also makes it kind of dark inside but I'll show you more about that um, you've got your uh, tank fill your uh, fill when you're hooking up from the post and you've got a flush we believe that one is the flush got an outdoor shower here coming around to the back first things I want to show you right here you can see these little extra pieces so in the event because of the shape you do have you know you can do this kind of thing if you're off-roading or in those back places and these are going to hit before anything else does so it'll protect anything under there and of course you do have the uh, other stabilizer jacks back here then because it's the base camp you get this cool back door which just opens up and you can put all of your gear in there uh, there's a, this is a window cover so there is a bit of a window there and there's a screen that drops down but I'll show you more of that from the inside coming around here here's some electricity and then you get the uh, I think nicer better <laughs> stairs these just fold up and tuck into there now they could have some rust potential to them so you'll want to pay close attention to that but i do think these are better than uh, a lot of the other airstream stairs that we've seen nice door remember it's taller and bigger uh, it is not a friction door or anything like that it does have a little clip right back here that hooks into here so that your door can um, be secured it also has a screen door that comes across here i love this screen door this is this is a really skookum nice screen door it's strong it gives you more screen than the rest do it's either there or it's not there i really love it and i like having jet too I wonder what that's about Wow they're pretty amazing it has a nice window in the door with a pull down uh, blind so that's all pretty cool now I know you want to see it let's go inside take a look at the 2021 base camp 20x come on it's here <laughs> the 20X base camp. Okay, so we're gonna show you. I mean, again, small, small space, but it is bigger than the 16. So we're gonna show you all the differences because it's taller, a little wider and longer. Starting over here, all your switches. Remember you had that screen door and uh, the, the blind in the window. You got some hooks here. You've got uh, heat venting that comes through the furniture down there. And then this is one of the main features, things that are different in the 20, is that you get two sleeping areas. So this is the dining area that can make down. And it's quite neat, like it's a, a U shape, right? And it's right at the front where you get these wrap around Airstream feature windows. Now, likes and dislikes. They've got that solar protection on the outside. It just makes everything super dark. I find personally, I find the base camp to be way too dark, but lots of people love it. So that's one thing. They don't open. These are the uh, blackout shades and they work very well. They're very dark. They zip up the sides, they Velcro at the top and they work very well. You do get two sort of net, uh, shelving spaces up there uh, you could fit at least four people in here um, this is a, a really decent sized table and then of course it makes down into a bed what i'm not so sure about these are the cushions for the bed um, why you want them sitting out here when you're not using them i don't know but you know we've seen this in other trailers too like what the heck do you do with the cushions when you're not using them for the bed um, some people say they'll put them in the shower. That doesn't really work for me. I like things to have their designated space. Anyhow, 
it is very nice and it may seem tight over here but you can turn this table quite nicely and get out very easily and then just turn it back now to make this down into a bed you have these clamps here oh i also want to point out while we're down here looking there's quite a bit of storage space underneath the seat areas in here so anyway you undo the clamps you push hard on the table um, that's a tough thing for me to be able to keep the pressure on this while redoing these clamps back up so you'll just have to figure out your way to make that work and then of course those cushions just fit into place there so it's all pretty neat i mean way better than that nest that we had so you can also get a microwave i believe it's an option and of course it's tiny and it's kind of high but if you want a microwave you can have one you also get i believe a 4.3 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator very nice and we did um well i'll i'll put a card in here for that nest where we did the pros and cons out because we used it and the 12 volt fridge worked very well and it was pretty spacious we had no problems with it so hopefully it you will like it too now all over the place they have these darkened um drawer door fronts for storage and there's quite a bit of storage i've been impressed um usb 12 volt uh, uh buttons for this one a uh, fresh water tank heater and the black and gray water tank remember this one has separate tanks versus what the 16 had and they're heated with pads if you want but they can also be ducted from the furnace so uh, we do like that that's great Okay, coming over to the kitchen area. So what I like about this is that you're getting the same two burner propane stove. Somebody stuffs here. Hey. And you're getting a uh, quite nice sized deep circle stainless sink. And you still have not a lot of countertop space but there's still some there so i do like that i'm just wondering hmm, would i rather hooks there or a flip up not so sure anyhow moving on oh plus check out this tap pretty fancy tap and the windows there in here is more storage and again there's quite a bit of it i like that that's in there so it's removable you can take it out if you want but it's got its spot and it just fits right in there so that's nice and then moving over to underneath the sink there's this little area that you could tuck things and more storage I think that's fantastic loving that then over here mirror which I do like moving into the wet bath we've talked about wet baths lots and lots of different trailers including the airstream nest this one's taller a little bigger but lacking that most important feature there's no sink so you've got nice fixtures tap a place to put things you know this little spot here um i got space to move I got a window with a cover, towel rack, lighting, vent, lots of hooks. Uh, and then here is a very decent height uh, toilet that is, yes, it's a porcelain toilet uh, with a foot flush. So, I mean, it's spacious enough and all that. It's just lacking that sink, which to Corey and I is an important feature. So you can decide for you. It's a nice wet bath, like it's a good size. Okay, so now moving towards the back of the base camp, there's more storage, which I love. Like there's, two, those go deeper and this one's a little bit more shallow, but like you could fit lots of clothes, shoes, gear, food, stuff. Like there just seems to be a lot of storage. Then, this area is your multi-use space now 
it seems very long to me. I'm not sure what the actual measurement is and if I can find it, I'll include it. But you can put through that back door, you can fit all gear in here, right? You can fit kayaks, you could fit bikes, you can put all sorts of different things in this space. So I do like that. I like the decor. Um, I like that it's darker decor. I know that sounds a little crazy, but I just wish it wasn't all so dark, but it's durable. It's washable. It's really a, a great fabric on here. Underneath here is um, access to things like uh, heater and that kind of stuff, furnace, water heater. I want to talk about these windows. It just seems a little weird to me. This whole piece is a plastic piece that has the screen in it that goes in front of the glass part of the window. So you've got the same kind of roll down uh, blackout shape, which is great. Um, this is a little flap that goes over the mechanism that opens the window. I've got it open right now and I'm just going to show you how you close it and it just seems a little odd to me. So you got to stick your fingers through and I have a fairly small hand. <laughs> so you got to stick your fingers through that space and pull it through like so and then you really got to get behind it there once you get it in. You really got to get behind it and slam it in place and then you can put this back on. So uh, in true Airstream fashion, they are doing some weird stuff with the window. <laughs> You'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. It'll be fine. It's just kind of weird. And this plastic thing, I just worry about it with that mechanism in there. And so just so you know, this is the opening window with that mechanism. And this is the opening window with me that mechanism. So basically they're the frameless windows and they're pushing out like this. Um, so then you've got the back door with the screen and you've got this front door with the screen, but that's your only airflow. So just a thought about that. Now, moving over to this side, you've got the same kind of seating, which really is quite comfortable. Um, and then it makes it, this is your multifunction space. So it can be eating, table, working, whatever. It can be storage of your stuff. It can be a single bed or it can be one big, huge bed. So I'm going to show you a bit of how to do that. Well, let me move these cushions over to this side. So they just uh, Velcro and snap in place. Then you got this big cushion that's it's it's velcroed down to these pieces which fold out but I want to show you that they lift up like such they don't stay up though so be careful of that or have extra hands and underneath it is a ton of storage right that's great the floor in here is quite durable too I'll show you closer now in here is these table bases. There's long and there's short. The, i show you the end. See that end piece? Let's go back to the nest video again because we had such a hard time with these and I just want to show you what a big improvement it is now. So that end goes into this little space here and screws into place. Ta-da, I did that whole thing one-handed. Then the table base here, I'm just going to turn this down. The table base here just snaps and turns. How's that, right? So there's two of these for here. Now, if we want to change it out and make it a bed, see how simple this is? Unscrew take it out, come back to here and take out the small one that works exactly the same way. Screw it in. 
put the table on there. This piece folds out. And of course you would do it in that section too. And then put your cushions in place like so. And you're building your bed. If you want it to be a full bed, you would pull this one out as well. It's an Airstream thing. That's not so bad though. You could actually get that. You could. That's there you go. That's, that's good. So it fits it in. It just fits it in tight, which isn't bad. But you don't it's want way your more cushions. Than the NASP was. Yeah. You don't want your cushions moving around when you're in bed. So in order to make this more, you just do the other table, fold it out. It fills in the space. It's pretty good actually, hey? Mm -hmm. Up here is more of this sort of uh, netted storage with this little rail here. Also, while you're up there, you should notice the LED lighting and the AC. I believe the AC is an option, uh, but you can also get it with a heat pump in it, which we also had in the nest. I don't think we really used it though, did we? Okay, now I wanna switch places and show you that end. All right, so coming back here, you do get this door to move all your stuff in. And down here is uh, some more storage. Now, yeah. so it's got this, this uh, cover over it. And then you can put some tools and things in there. But remember, it only has a 50, a 50 pound max weight limit to it. There's also uh, heat ducting over here, electric and USB. And underneath this side is great sort of underneath the seat storage for whatever your little heart desires. And then um, this flooring I want to talk about. This is super durable flooring as it should be because you're treating this like a garage basically. Um, the other thing is that there are these uh, loops here in four spots so that you have something to tie down whatever you're putting in here so it's not just flailing around when you're driving down the road. Um, yeah, so those are very nice features. And then you get this great door, which does have the window behind it and it has room for you to put some more stuff. And when you open it, it's not really meant as, you know, in and out it's meant more for cargo right but then you can just snap it into place the screen and leave it open right so no bugs good airflow wonderful space very functional how about that cracker barrel factor <laughs> well let's see <laughs> ta-da it's perfect you know it's a small trailer you can take it anywhere and you can, it's very multifunctional. So now let's talk about the numbers. Now for the numbers on the highly anticipated, long time waited for Airstream Base Camp 20X. Totally cool rig. We're so excited to show it to you. Now, I went and took a picture of the sticker on the outside of the trailer so that we could be accurate. And the gross vehicle weight rating comes in at 4,300 pounds with the cargo carrying capacity, if it's completely dry, nothing in it, 498 pounds. Now, once you fill the freshwater tank in this, you've probably got about 270 pounds left of cargo carrying capacity. So that seems a little tight when you think about adding propane, adding the cargo and things that you want to put in here uh, for your activities, food, clothes, drinks, all those kinds of things. And yes, you can put stuff in your vehicle, but please remember that you also have a payload rating on that that includes people and all that too. So you just want to know your numbers, play within them. Now, the other numbers on this trailer. The exterior length is 20 feet. The exterior width, seven foot nine inches. Interior width, seven foot two and a half inches. Exterior height, if you went with the AC, is nine feet five inches. And the fresh water tank is at 23 gallons. The gray is at 28 gallons and the black is at 21 gallons. Um, this makes up into a 43 inch bed not quite sure 
which dimensions they're going with there. Uh, the interior height, six foot seven inches. Uh, that bed at the back. So if you make a half bed, 26 by 78. And if you make it a full bed, it's 82 by 78 inches. Let's see. Oh, it has a 14,300 BTU uh, heating system. And that's the Truma Combi uh, system. It has a 13,500 BTU AC system, which also I mentioned had the heat strip. Uh, the hitch weight, 535 pounds. The spare tire, important to note, is a full-size spare. And then, of course, there's that tankless on-demand hot water heater. Pros and cons there. Again, take a look at our video on the Airstream NAS where we used that system. And, of course, then there's that all-important price <laughs> number. We don't have it. We will ask when we go in, we'll put it in a ticker tape here just so that you guys get that information. Uh, and then we'll include it. It's just uh, that these are flying off the shelf. So I know a lot of people are going to go, wow, that's a fairly high price tag for a trailer of that size. I'm not here to argue that point with you, but if something's selling, then obviously people are okay to pay that price. <laughs> So that's what Airstream gets to charge. <laughs> so that's how that works for this trailer. If you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up. If we've provided you with any value, feel free, buy us a coffee, link in the description. We'll put the links at the end here to uh, other similar things, the construction, you can come on an adventure with us, all that great stuff. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. We love having you along. Thanks for watching.